Hello world, a coding mistake in a ransomware payload led to a loss of tens of millions of dollars for the cybercrime group Black Matter. Cybersecurity company MCSoft discovered the vulnerability and has been using it for months to covertly recover victims' files. Though MCSoft's mission was thrown into disarray when a dark web link was leaked and trolls started interfering. I think you guys are going to really like this story. But first, who is Black Matter? Black Matter is thought to be a rebrand of the now deceased ransomware group Darkseid, which was responsible for the colonial pipeline hack. That was one of the best examples of how a cyber attack can potentially paralyze a country. In that hack, the colonial pipeline was ransomed, knocking one of America's main fuel pipelines offline, causing fuel shortages in parts of the country. Now, you can't cause so much trouble without attracting the ire of the FBI, and as I was writing the script for this video, the FBI announced a $10 million reward for information leading to the location, arrest, and or conviction of owners, operators, or affiliates of the Dark Side Ransomware as a Service Group. This is pretty significant. The largest reward ever offered by the US was $25 million on the head of Osama bin Laden. The reward for Darkseid is 40% that of bin Laden, which is a lot. Darkseid disappeared earlier this year, until rebooting operations when a user going by the name Black Matter appeared on cybercrime forums, offering cash in exchange for access to networks of corporations doing in excess of $100 million of revenue. A dark website for this newly spawned group popped up shortly after, which interestingly delineated a blacklist of industries they wouldn't attack, including pipelines, the very thing that had gotten their previous form dark side into hot water. This list of targets closely maps onto what the US considers critical infrastructure, which are the sectors law enforcement gets most antsy about when attacked, for understandable reasons. These are also the sectors which the US declared as off-limits to Putin when it comes to hacking, all suggesting that Black Matter made the conscious decision to fence off these industries because they just want to make money quietly, attracting as little attention from law enforcement and the media as possible. But Black Matter didn't keep to their word for too long, and were recently observed attacking the agricultural sector, an industry on the list as critical infrastructure. Enter MCSoft. They discovered what they describe as a critical flaw in the Black Matter ransomware in December of last year, and launched a mission, helping victims recover their files without paying a ransom. This mission of theirs has been kept top secret until now, their reasoning being, in the case of gangs that we believe to be technically sophisticated, such as Darkseid or Black Matter, we do not publicly announce or disclose the existence of vulnerabilities. Instead, we communicate our decryption capabilities in private via a network of law enforcement agencies and trusted partners. Parties. This approach enables us to help as many victims for as long as possible. Frustratingly, MCSoft doesn't spill any beans on what the particular vulnerability was. And whilst the initial vulnerability was fixed in January this year, it wasn't long until Black Matter made yet another mistake in their ransomware payload, allowing MCSoft once again to restart their mission recovering victims' files. However, it wasn't all plain sailing, and you're going to love this next bit. They detail that, during one of the more high-profile Black Matter incidents in September 2021, the ransom note was leaked. Now, a typical ransom note includes a dark web link to where victims can negotiate with the gang. Because this link was leaked, anyone could join the dark web chat and talk to Black Matter themselves. And so, the trolling of Black Matter commenced. In one instance, someone joined the chat and demanded 152 Bitcoin from the gang. We both need to agree that each party should gain from the negotiation. You send us Bitcoin, we send you Bitcoin. Ransom is paid from both sides and everybody moves on. We are waiting for your update. Don't forget there are two ways to resolve conflicts, through violence or negotiation. Violence is for wild beasts. Negotiation is for human beings. You choose. Black Matter had no idea the chats had been hijacked, so responded by calling Kovoa, the ransom recovery experts hired by the victims, clowns. In another example, a troll simply told Black Matter, we don't care, you will not receive payment, delete the key and go away. To which Black Matter responded with a short novel on how they were going to publish the victim's data, and that the victim had violated Black Matter's data recovery guidelines by deciding to use the services of Coveware. The troll simply responded, the only thing we violated was your mother. You won't be surprised to hear that Twitter absolutely loved this back and forth. MCSoft, however, wasn't too pleased. Screenshots of the conversations were taken and circulated within the Twitter community, which caused even more people to join the fun, quickly derailing any sort of intelligence gathering by law enforcement and security researchers in the process. 
In response to the trolling campaign, Black Matter have now implemented a company verification check for anyone who joins the negotiation chat. MCSoft says this locks them and everyone else out of the process. Unfortunately, that meant one of the most valuable tools we had to reach victims disappeared literally overnight, leading to missed victims who may have unnecessarily paid ransoms. As for those code mistakes, Black Matter released an update several weeks ago that fixed the flaw that MCSoft was using to help victims. This video is sponsored by Linode, who are giving you $100 worth of free cloud computing. Linode is a totally customizable cloud hosting platform. Whether you're looking to quickly spin up a VPN, website, or host a Kubernetes cluster, Linode has you covered. If it runs on Linux, it'll run on Linode. Linode just announced availability of their NVMe block storage, the first alternative cloud provider to officially support this state-of-the-art hardware at no extra cost to their customers. Linode's philosophy is to focus on providing all the tools a developer really needs at competitive prices. Use the link in the description now to claim your free $100. If you enjoy this kind of video, make sure to help me out by caressing the like button for the YouTube AI, as well as turning on those sub notifications. If you want to see what goes on behind the scenes, make sure to follow me on the Instagrams. I'm at Jonty. I will, of course, link it in the description. And if you're looking for something to watch next, go check out my previous video on how bad actors have been exploiting Craigslist to infect victims. As always, sources will be linked in the video description. Stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.